carpentry work can be very rewarding. It's nothing like sitting down with a client, talking about the implementation of that client's vision of what they want to see done in their home. And then having the skill set to make that dream come true. It's it's a very, very gratifying feeling because I'm creating something. I'm helping a client realize a vision that they have with regards to their home because a home is like a sacred place. It is a sacred place where a man or family lays down and, and eats, sleeps, socializes with his family, watches his children uh, grow up. Uh, those walls, that home is a, is a sacred place. And so people um, who have money and have resources and have a home, uh, they take that very seriously. And so it's a blessing to be able to have these things come to pass for a client. And them write that check. Well, give me that cash after after it's finished. It's just a beautiful feeling. But you know, what I wanted to talk about was the fact that all clients are not good clients. And there's demographics of clients that you want to deal with, and then there's other demographics of people that you don't want to deal with. Me personally... And I said this on a previous video of why I stay out of places like Atlanta is because the temptation is there. You got a lot of single women uh, that own homes. Uh, uh, a lot of women, uh, and, and the vast majority, that they have children. Um, so they're single mothers with homes. And they don't have a man in the house that can fix the myriad of things that come up, or Pookie ain't coming to fix nothing, or the dude that's just running through, he ain't coming to fix nothing. Uh, he coming to smash and leave. Uh, but you have a situation where you have all these women that have this home, uh, and it's either A, they have the resources to pay for it, or by and far, uh, a lot of times they don't have the money to pay uh, someone to come in and fix a leaky roof. Uh, but, you know, you're not going to spend um, uh, $50, $150 to get your roof fixed if there's a leak. I'm talking about a leak. I'm just talking about a tap, tap, tap. That can run into hundreds, um, $500, $1,000, dollars to fix depending on the severity of the problem. Uh, you know, I got to get up on somebody's roof. You're going to pay me. You're going to pay me. That's why I had to put in a vent, vent uh, to a roof vent. Uh, let's say I charge $4,500, $5,500. Uh, if that vent fan and that, that roof vent fan had to get replaced or whatever, it's leaking or whatever, hey. Uh, so there's a lot of money that you can make as a carpenter. Uh, however, there's people that have purchased these homes uh, and they cannot afford to maintain these homes. Just like a lot of people are purchasing cars that they can't afford the $1,300, $1,000. Could you imagine paying a $1,000 payment for a car, for a used car with 100 plus thousand miles on it? It's ridiculous. But this is what happens when you have uh, inflation. Uh, the endless printing of money. This is what you have when you have government and the Federal Reserve run amok. But the implications and the results of that is that a woman today, now, and I'm not talking about things that I've heard. I'm talking about other contracts that I've talked to and experience that I've seen and experienced myself. They will proposition you and they will give you some uh, in exchange for some work. Oh, yeah, they will. Oh, oh, yeah, they will. They will pay you uh, in, in, in sexual payments. Um, uh, whatever you want to do. I mean, I, I'm t it's just a real talk. Um, because they lack the economic resources with all this inflation, with all the cost, you know, the cost of living and stuff going up. They don't have the money 
to uh, uh, pay uh, the extraordinary amount of fees when it comes to, you know, uh, that I charge or carpenters charge when it comes to uh, fixing and repairing sheetrock, um, uh, repairing leaky roofs, re re repairing pipes, appliance repairs. All of this stuff costs money, and people don't understand the 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 the, the total cost of owning a home, uh, much less owning the property. Uh, it costs money, uh, not only the, for the materials, uh, but the labor to put it in. Listen, if the labor is the materials is a thousand dollars, you could you could be damn sure that I'm going to charge you two thousand dollars to put that stuff in, if not a thousand dollars. Because there's a symbiotic relationship between material uh, cost and labor costs. As the material costs go up, so does the labor cost. Cost fifty dollars to install some, probably cost you fifty to one hundred dollars um, uh, to buy some. It's gonna cost you fifty to one hundred dollars to install it. You see, that's just how it works. It's just the nature of the business. Um, but one of the clientele that I don't deal with, uh, because again, you don't know what you're dealing with. When a woman is pretty much prostituting herself out for services that she needs in her home because she can't afford uh, uh, the uh, she can't she can't come up with the cash, and this is as old as time. This is how people are paying. I did a video. Uh, some brother sent me a video about a, a woman uh, a, a sleeping with uh, the mechanic in order to get her car fixed. This is what you have going on in society today. See, you men with real skills.